Hello and welcome to this MGO2 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to set up MGO2 on the PC. To get started you will need to download the files in the description of the video. These files will contain absolutely everything you need to play MGO. Whilst we wait for the download, please sign up with Save MGO. The link to register will be in the description of the video. Please now input a username, password and email address, and then you'll be able to proceed and create an account. Once your account is created, you should now see this page about email activation. Currently this is optional and you can skip this step if you have any difficulties. The download is now complete. Open your browser's download folder location and you should find the savemgo.zip file. Please now drag this file to your desktop. You can now double click the zip folder and drag its contents to your desktop to extract them. This will take some time depending on your system. With the files now extracted, you can boot RPCS free. Please note that if prompted to update, please do so. Now, please select the config button within RPCS free and go to the GPU tab and change the resolution scale to upscale to your desired resolution settings. In this example, I've selected the resolution that matches my monitor. Please now select the system tab. Here you can change the console language. This allows us to change the language in Metal Gear Online. Note that if the game is in Japanese when you boot, this means that your language is not supported. In which case, most people select English US. You can also select your keyboard type here as well. If you'd like to use your keyboard to type in game, then please head over to the I.O. tab. Changing the keyboard handler from Null to Basic will allow you to type in-game using your keyboard. However, if your game crashes or hangs on a black screen, it is recommended to turn this setting back to Null, which is why it is Null by default. So, once done, just hit Apply and Save. Great, we are now ready to set up the controller we will use to play the game, so let's select the Pads button in RPCS3. We have options such as X inputs for Xbox controllers, DualSense, DualShock 4, etc. Please select the option relevant to you. Once you're happy with your configuration, please select the Save button. We can now boot the game's launcher. At first, it will check your game's files and it may start updating. Eventually, you should be able to boot the game itself. OK, using your username and password from the registration process early in the video, you can now log in. Make sure to select the Save Your Credentials option that's here before you sign in so that next time you boot the game, it remembers your credentials and you just log in straight away. You may have the same Windows firewall prompt as on the screen now. If so, just allow RPCS free access via Windows Defender Firewall as it is perfectly safe. You may have the same in-game error as you see now also, but you can ignore this and skip ahead. Right, you can now select Start Game, type a character name, and begin customising your character. When you reach the gear customisation step, it is recommended to go through this as quickly as possible, as you unlock much more gear once your character is fully created. Once your character is fully logged in for the first time, you'll be prompted to select your skills. For the purpose of this video, I have selected Runner 2 and Assault Rifle 2 skills, which are very commonly used in this game. Now, let's fully customise our character's appearance. Please go to Personal Data and then Appearance Settings. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to put a cardboard box on my head. You are now set up for MGO2 on PC. I look forward to meeting you all on the battlefield. If you have any further questions, please visit discord.gg forward slash mgo2pc.